Hey, what's up, my Uplifting Life Partners? This is Ron Simplified Myers, your Uplifting Life Partners. For those of you, this is your first time actually hearing me speak. I am the author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. I'm actually over here in Norwalk, California. Um, I actually started to do this video last night. I should have actually turned off my app um, because I got a call while I was in the middle of doing the video and I answered the call, but because I knew the call was going to interrupt the video, so I didn't finish it. But um, I should have turned it off, you know, and not uh, accept any calls and stuff and just did it because um, it was really something that was on my heart at right that moment. And it had to do with the fact that I had picked up a gentleman and he was telling me about the fact that he um, he found out he had cancer a week ago. And you can tell it's fresh, it's hitting him hard. Now, folks, this is uh, the day after Thanksgiving. And um, he was, I was asking him, I said, but how are you doing? How are you, how are you handling this? And he says, I, I put it in the Lord's hands. And, you know, it was, it was, you know, coming across as if he was handling it very well. And, and being strong, you know, because the world has taught us as men, we're not emotional creatures and we're, we're strong. And um, ultimately, he sat there for a second and he broke out crying. Um, again, I'm sharing this because we have to get past this, this myth and this trying to uh, make men act like they're something they're not. You're a human being. Um, you do have emotions. You do cry. You do fear. You do doubt. You do have all those things. You go through financial struggles. Um, and I only brought that one up because I had a gentleman make the comment that he, um, it's not okay for guys to get money when they first start dating a uh, young lady. But he was okay with women doing it because that's what we do as men. We're providers, we're protectors, garbage. Um, those things bother me when I hear stuff like that and that's why I said it that way because if you think it's wrong, it's wrong. Guys go through financial issues also. So if you think it's wrong, it's wrong. I think when you're brand new in a relationship, you shouldn't be asking anybody for money. But I'm not going to sit here and say, I think it's okay for women. But then as a man, you should never do it. No, I don't think anyone should be doing it. Because guys go through financial issues also. And to make it sound like they don't or they need to figure it out on their own, folks, we're all human beings. Quit trying to make it sound like guys are these superhuman um, creatures when they're human just like anyone else. So anyway, what I was getting to is this gentleman actually broke out and, and he was crying. And you could tell because he's, he's scared. You know, he just found, he doesn't know where this is going to go. And he was also sharing with me that he had no family um, here because he's from Mexico and that's basically where all his family is. He's been divorced from his uh, wife for, I think he said, like uh, three or four years. And um, so he felt like he's going through this battle alone. That's tough. That's tough. And the world says he's a man. Suck it up. Quit telling men that. And I'm not going to be one to tell. I tell people all the time, if tears want to come from me, they'll come. You can call me whatever the heck you want to. I'll join in with you and call myself names if that makes you happy but I'm not going to stop being a human being to make you feel good. And for this gentleman, I was willing and I told him, man, you need to let that out. You need to, however you feel, feel it. See, I'm not here to judge him. Oh, I can't believe he cried. What, Folks, the man is scared. And a lot of men are scared in this world. And they don't get a chance to go get help because they're so caught in what the world is going to say if they go get that help. That's why I said even in relationships, women, you know, people are asked why men don't want to go to marriage counseling. That's why. They've been told they're not emotional creatures. They're not supposed to uh, uh, show how they feel. To go to a counselor is to admit there's something wrong. It's to become vulnerable. You're asking him to do something he was told men don't do. We have to quit teaching that in our society. It's killing men. And so you can tell that bothers me. And it bothered me with this gentleman because you could tell he's trying to play this facade as if it wasn't bothering him. 
and it was killing him, literally. And um, so, I, of course, I, all the only thing I could tell him is, man, my best wishes to you. Keep your head up. Keep fighting. However you feel, let it out. You don't hold that in. I don't care what the world has to say. Um, so that was kind of why uh, last night I wish I had went on and stopped. And, and I'm doing it here also, and, and it's bringing it back. And that's the reason I wanted to do it last night, because it was really on my heart at the time. But just thinking back, it's back on my heart again. And I guess it's, again, like I said, as we write stories, our emotions follow. So as I start to really go into the story, then it brings up my true feelings about this. And that's what's showing, and that's why I wanted to do it last night, because I wanted, while I was in the moment, to give the video. And, um, and I'm back in the moment. Uh, it's just coming, it's the next day uh, after talking with him. But guys, uh, if you have those feelings, you have those, get help, talk to others. Um, if you're with someone who doesn't understand that, she's not the one. Um, I know for some people, again, they'll say, I don't wanna be with a guy that's emotional. Then you're not the one. And like I said before, if I have tears and they wanna come, they'll come. I don't care what you think. Um, again, as I've said before in the previous couple of videos, Learn to accept people just as they are. Now, my best wishes for the young man is that um, he was probably in his early 40s. As, as, uh, that whatever you know path he takes is that he, he, he battles through this and, and he wins the battle. And that he appreciates, and, and that's what you even heard him saying. He was like, money? He said it doesn't solve everything. That's kind of one of the topics, too, that I wanted to bring up is that it doesn't. Folks, money is important where money is important. Now, money would be important in this issue because it allows him to get the best doctors. So don't misinterpret what I'm saying. Um, money, again, is important where it's important, but it doesn't heal like in this particular case. We hear every day of billionaires dying. It doesn't solve everything. I guess what I'm getting to is just remember what's important. We just had Thanksgiving a few days ago. And it's usually uh, even the same day now that we got the, uh, they've, they've, they've switched Black Monday to Thursday now. I mean, Black Friday to doing it on Thursdays now. Soon it'll be uh, right after Easter uh, and probably even earlier than that because people are willing to spend just because they've been taught, programmed. Um, you can get a discount and there's nothing more important. It's even interrupted Thanksgiving. Again, this is not to tell you how to believe what you think about Thanksgiving because I know for a lot of people, they're insulted that we even celebrate Thanksgiving and that's a whole nother topic. Um, but what I'm saying, I look at it from the perspective of people are spending time with family on that particular day. And now the retail industry is interrupting that and now has opened up their stores during what would be considered dinner time when everybody would be getting together to open their stores so you can leave and go shopping. It's like they have no regard for family or anything else. It's only about the dollars making money. And, and again, and, I, and again, this is not knocking them because that's what they're supposed to do. This is their business. We as consumers have to realize what's going on and realize what's important. Don't get caught in that. For me, there's nothing any of these stores could offer that's more important than being with my family. And that's what I would I was doing on, on Thanksgiving. I was eating with my family. I don't care what you were offering at your store, what price you were offering it at. It's more important to me to be with my family than it is to come get a discount on some product, some exterior stuff. And so what I'm really getting to is the same thing with this gentleman. Understanding what's important. For him, he recognizes the money's not the answer. Hopefully you don't have to get in his situation in order to figure that out. And not saying this is when he figured it out. Folks, nothing wrong with going to get the material things, but keep what's important important, and that's each other, and that's mankind. Learn to love your family, put them first, your friends, and then we can work towards the material things. So I just wanted to share that. Again, this is uh, a little off uh, what I'm usually sharing and teaching. Um, 
but this is something that was really on my heart because those of you that know my story know that I dealt with this personally up close with my wife who fought cancer for 17 years. So the cancer conversation is not a new conversation for me. It's just to watch this man sit there and try to at first play like he was strong and tough and then to, to really let his true emotions show. Um, I thought it was very important that, that you know, I share and we get past all this, this macho stuff and allow people to be human beings. And again, uh, again, for those of you who didn't know, I actually lost my wife five years ago to that cancer. So yes, I've experienced it up close. I watched her battle again for 17 years. So it's real. And I'm just saying, but from a guy's perspective, allow him to be a man, or not a man, a human being. Um, and as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, if you haven't had the opportunity to watch uh, my videos, please run over to my U channel, my YouTube channel, which is Ron's U channel.com. That's the letter U, Ron's U channel.com. Subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel. Uh, leave feedback on this video, other videos that I have. Um, if there's certain topics you'd like for me to talk on, please share. I enjoy uh, giving feedback. I enjoy helping people. I'm always going to share my perspective. Again, it's not right, it's not wrong. They are my opinion. Take them. Use the stuff that works for you. The stuff that don't, let it roll off your back. The same thing in the world. Um, the things you can use, use. The other stuff, let it go on. Take on what you can. And the stuff that you can't change, move past it. And again, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Folks, remember what's important. People first. And allow them to be themselves and be human. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.